When it comes to take notes, which most of you does, there are a wide variety of tools available to pick from. Some of the popular tools include Joplin, Notion, Evernote, Microsoft OneNote, etc. Now, unlike some of you guys who use some of the above mentioned tools, my way of taking notes is a little different. I prefer taking notes with the markdown and managing it with my custom script, which I will show you in a while. Now, most of you are already familiar with Markdown if you have ever come across GitHub or GitLab in developer journey. Now, let's talk about how I manage and take my notes. So let's quickly pull up a terminal here. Now you guys can see, let, let me increase the font size a bit. Now, if, if I ls in my home directory, you will find there is a directory called notes. And this is the folder where I put all of my Markdown notes that I take. So if I go to this folder here, now you will find this git here, which actually means that it is a git repository. Now if I ls here, you will find that there are a number of notes here. And also you'll find a dot git folder that actually represents that it is a git repository. Now let's talk about how I take notes. So let's say if I want to take a note. Um, so if I have already a file which is actually managing that particular topic. So for example, let's say uh, I'm talking about my Dracula eyes. So if I just open it up, so I have some general information here. So let's say if I edit it. So let's say I want to make some changes. So I will do them here. So let's say to do and uh, changes to improve my rising. So let's say I want to make multi polybar design. So basically it means that I want to change my one polybar layout to multiple layouts. Uh, what I mean actually is now I can have different uh, polybars for different stuff. So let's say if I want to do this and I will quickly save it and exit out of it. So now you will find that this particular repository is changed. Now you can see that we have two modified files. Now this is how I take notes. Now it's time to discuss how you can manage the notes. So let's go to the script that I use. Now this is my bash script that actually allow me to manage my notes. So I will quickly go through the script and I will show you some of the commands how they work and then at the end I will show you how I manage the nodes and a quick thing to mention here is that if I am going to show you the git remote dash v here you will find that I also manage this particular repository on github as well. Now let's go to the script here and again this is written in bash. Now the first portion of code which is from the line 10 to line 14 actually helps you to identify whether you have internet connection or not. It will try to send a get request to this google.com and then it will try to check whether the exit status of this particular command is zero or one. So now if it is not equals to zero, then that means that we do not have internet connection and it will exit the program. On the other hand, if this is not the case, that means if you have a stable internet connection at that stage, you can go to the next step, which is going to the folder that you provide in the command line argument. So dollar one here represents the first argument that you provide while running this script. And the only thing I'm doing here is going to that particular direct. And now if you go to this uh, section, that means from line 22 to 27, I have some of the important commands here. So these are basically the bare bone of this particular script. So I will show you how does they work. If I go to my notes directory here, let me increase the font size a bit. Now the first command here is is repo. So now this command will actually return a true or false based on whether the particular folder is actually a git repository or not. So if I type git rev dash parse and dash dash is inside work tree. And if I hit enter, you will find that it is returning true. That means this particular folder is a git repository. Now let's talk about the next command which is is remote. So the basic idea how I'm checking whether the particular repository has a remote setup or not. So what I'm doing here, I'm just looking for git remote. So this will return the name of the remote and then I am piping it into the word count and I'm trying to count the lines. So this will return one or more than one. So this is what I will be checking. Now let's talk about the next command which is total node. So this will basically help you to identify 
how many files of markdown are there in particular directory so what it does if i just type lsp it will list uh, the folder and now we will be piping it into the grab and then we will remove all of those lines which contain a slash that means we are trying to remove the folders here now you will find that it will return only the files here and then again we can pipe into the word count dash l to count the number of lines now this way you will get the number of markdown files available or in other words you can say that now you can get the total number of notes you have in this folder it's time for the new notes so basically whenever you create a new file that will be treated as a new note now how you can identify it so there's a command in the git which is git ls dash files and if you provide this um, argument here other and then dash dash exclude standard now this particular line of code will actually return all of those files that are created they are not watched by the current repository so you can see that it is not returning anything now because all of these files are being watched by our repository so what i can do here i will quickly create a new file so let's say if i just make new.md here and if i just put a, a random note okay Sorry for the missed word mistake, but it doesn't matter here. So now if I run this particular code, you will find that I get this particular file. That means this is a newly created file. So this is how you can identify a new file that is being added to your repository. Now it's time to take a look at the modified nodes. So now what this particular command will do, it will return the number of modified or deleted nodes. Now again, we will be using git ls dash files and then dash dash modified and then dash dash exclude standard this will again return those files that are being modified okay or deleted so now you can pipe it again into word count to count the number of lines by passing dash l flag then you will get the number of lines so here you guys can see that there are two nodes being modified or deleted now then we are trying to get the date now it is again simple stuff what you can do you can type plus and then the format you want and this will return the current date now if you want to know about the format more you can just go to this ma manual page of date and you will get the list of all the formatters that you can use so you guys can see it will give you the whole information that you need so let's get rid of it and let's quickly talk about the rest portion of the script so then I have a message which is basically a string and then we are passing some variables inside it to create a message to send the notification okay and similarly we have another thing which is no message now this is when we do not have any modified content in the notes folder now we'll move to the next stuff which is the statements here if statements from 46 line to 67 line so first of all we are trying to check whether the current folder that you have passed as an argument is a repository or not if it is a repository then we will be checking that whether the remote is there or not then we will be checking whether you have any new notes in this particular folder or repository or you have some modified notes in it then if you find script find any new note or a modified note it will then add all of the current files into the repository then it will commit changes and then it will finally push the changes to the remote repository then it will send a notification using the notified as send command then we have this else state which is basically the situation when there are no new notes or no modified notes at that stage you just need to print this particular message right here now you guys can see we are giving two arguments here so the first one is title and the another one is summary so this one is the title and here you can provide summary so if i just type anything so you guys can see that the title is in bold and the summary is not bold and yeah this is it this is how it works so let's quickly take a look how the script actually works in action and then i will show you how uh, i run it as a cron job now if i just use the sync underscore notes command again this particular script uh, is also the same script now again i move this particular script to the uh, dot local slash bin which is again in my path variable so i can directly access it now if i provide the notes folder here so you will see that it will give me the a nice notification here that notes are sent to your github repository and it will give you the information about the modified notes and new notes added so if i run it again 
at this stage you will find that it is saying no new nodes or modified nodes are found because we have already pushed all the nodes to the repository so this is how it works now the final step is to run it as a cron job uh, so that it can regularly watch the folder and do the commits and push the changes to the server now in order to do it all you need to do is just type cron tab dash e and this will open up the cron tab file in your current um, editor so you guys can see i have provided this last line here so this will actually run this particular script after every two hour and then it will run this particular script from my scripts folder and then pass the particular notes folder now the one thing that you need to note is if you're using uh, the notify send command here it will not work unless you specify the display here and also added the user bin which is actually the part where the notify sent is installed and that's and after that you just need to put this line and you're good to go now let me show you what i actually mean from this uh, path variable here so what i will do here is basically i will say use the where command and i will say notify send to check the path of the notify send here so you guys can see uh, we have it in the user bin so you just need to add this user bin in the path variable inside your Coronta file and then you're good to go so now after this step after every two hour your folder will be watched by the script and it will automatically push the changes if it finds some new notes there so that's it for this video hopefully you like it so thanks for watching guys <laughs>